So tell me, where are you scared of the dark? When it all goes down and the lights go out, I'm not the one you wanna see. Some will and some won't, some do and some don't. Now tell me who you're gonna be. See, I couldn't really give a fuck if I am so unbearable. All that I really care about is that I'm uncomparable. They're bigger than me and they're quicker than me, but they know that nobody is sicker than me. Cause they can kill X and they can kill Y. Hello, welcome, Devil Slub here, episode 21, season number 5 of our career mode with West Ham United, and today we're going to be having a methodical episode for a couple of reasons which I'll explain during this episode, but I felt the need to do a methodical episode, basically. I'm going to, let's, let's be honest, we've been doing this for 5 seasons, it's, don't panic, I'm not ending this career mode for God's sake, I love this career mode, and I, I am enjoying this career mode, the one thing I'm not enjoying is what it says across the top, a legendary 5 minutes. Yeah, I'm not a great fan of when it rains, but it's it's legendary. It really is starting to annoy the living crap out of me, to be honest. It really is. I find it so frustrating. I find it so hard to to provide good highlights. And um, I know you're going to sit there and say, well, hold on. You're fourth in the table. You know, you've won eight games. You drew three. You've lost three. You've got goal difference of five. But I'm slightly ahead of you. So, <laughs> so it's... I don't want to give anything away because um, there's some good bits coming up, there's going to be some bad bits coming up, and there's going to be some good bits coming up. But um, I'm slightly ahead of you because obviously I like to get to transfer window and then that's when we have our fun. And that's when we work together. You guys provide some epic players and we try and do deals. You know, we've pretty much got no money at this time. So um, it's going to be a lot of probably player swapping, I reckon. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, they were awarded a dodgy penalty, but Butland, oh yeah, baby, pushes it onto the bar, and it's so nice when a, when the AI absolutely fucks up a Pirlo. It's brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. But I'm I'm literally am just struggling with Legendary. I'm finding it so difficult to provide exciting football, you know. We try our damnedest, and um, the problem I have is the AI just seems to be able to counter-attack at a whim. And knock the ball around so brilliantly and, and constantly be peppering you that you don't get the opportunity to, to sort of have a crack at them. And as you can see, you know, that was that's not really a highlight what I just put in there, but it was just one of the best piece of plays in the first half, you know. This move starting off with Bruno Martins Indy. Now it's not a fantastic move, but it's one of the one of the best highlights I had in the first half. And when you think to yourself, that's only two opportunities, it's quite concerning, it's quite worrying. Because Wigan really did play quite well to be fair. And I completely destroyed it with that really awful through ball from Benzia. I should have been sticking on his right foot and just twatting it for the top corner. Or taking the ball a little bit further and passing it. And that's essentially what I'm trying to get across is I, I just don't seem to be able to adjust to legendary. I'm struggling. And the one thing I don't want to do is take a step backwards and put it down to world class. Because what would be worse? You know, if you step back and knock, knock it down a notch to world class and then start twatting everybody, it's going to become boring. You know, people aren't going to watch career mode where you, you're winning 5 or 6 nil every time, or I don't think I would win 5 or 6 nil every time, but you know, I have the players where I think we would score a lot of goals, and I don't think that would be as exciting, because you'd be it, you'd be even more shocked if I lost, and I don't think there'd be many losses. I mean, that body roll by Filippo was just epic. That strike was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's just so good. Oh, I freaking love Filippo in his career mode so much. He's just so, so, so freaking good. So, yeah, that's my personal my personal problem at this moment in time is I'm struggling with Legendary. I'm not sure if many people come out and admit that they're struggling or or whatever or if they secretly change the uh, the settings or whatever. I'm, <laughs> I don't see the point in doing that. I'd rather be honest with you guys and uh, get your thoughts and your feedback because that's most important to me because you're the guys who um, take the time out of your day to watch the West Ham career mode and uh, hopefully it's it's still enjoyable for you but I still want to get across that I'm personally just struggling so when we get to a transfer window I think that the episodes might slow down a little bit just purely because I find it frustrating to play the AI I mean literally all over me as you can see you know we're struggling to defend my defending is just not good enough you know if it weren't for that save double save from Butland it would have been a draw, and that would have been even more depressing. So picking up the three points is, is a plus side. But I shouldn't be struggling against Wigan away from home. Not with the team we have. We have a phenomenal side, and it's it's just a little bit annoying. And I find it a little bit tedious that we are, we're just being outplayed all the time. And it's nothing to do with the actual team at the end of the day, or the squad at the end of the day. It's literally to do with my inability to 100% adjust to a harder difficulty which is a personal demon which I've got to come to terms with and uh, battle through. But 
Quickly changing the subject, the youth squad. Look at some of these players. I can't wait for some of these lads to turn of the age where we can actually physically offer them a proper first team contract. We have some potential monsters in this. You know, we've got Tongi, we've got Mills, we've got Alessandro at the top, you know, we've got Danny Barrera. He's going to be absolutely fantastic. As long as we can keep hold of him, he has been linked for a move away. And look at this. Even the media has picked up on my inability and says time for a change at West Ham. And yes, it, it hits on certain points. We are lacking that cutting edge. You know, we haven't really twatted anyone this season. We haven't scored a, a, a shed load of goals. We've conceded a lot of goals, you know. We've been lucky to get a couple of 3-2s. And, you know, 3-2 is, is, is a nice score on because there's five goals in the game. But it's uh, it's not ideal. It's not brilliant. Anyway, let's move on to the squad report. And uh, what can I say about Butland? Apart from just, Jesus Christ, he's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Stefan statistics as well. Superb. He really is superb. I love him and adore him. He's a great centre-back. Fabio, just look at his mental. His aggression and his interceptions of 98 are just astounding. Absolutely astounding. Robin is starting to grow very well. I think he's going to be a decent centre-back. As long as he can get that pace up, acceleration and sprint speed up, I think he'll be absolutely immense. Luke Shaw obviously hasn't had huge amounts of growth because uh, he's found it very difficult to break into the side. We've had some decent left-backs. And obviously when you've got Bruno's Martin Indy, he can play there as well and does a very good job there. And, uh, you know, you, nine times out of ten, you choose him over Luke Shaw, unfortunately. You know, Eduardo's growth has slowed down a little bit due to the fact he's being rotated more with uh, Sissoko. Ola Jean has come in and done an amazing job. I mean, he's gone up plus two. And you look at his statistics, and he's just, he is astounding. He's such a good player to play with. Isco's dribbling, 98. Unbelievable. He is just immense. And immense also is Adrian. He has been getting a prolonged run in the side, playing a lot more football than he probably has um, at this, by this stage of the season than in any other season. And he's really starting to show why he should be playing more football. He's brilliant. As we know, Gudetti is slightly unhappy. And uh, I'm still not happy with the comments he came out with that you know he should, be, he should have played and he would have scored. I think that's really, really disrespectful to the team. And um, not something I'm really happy with. <laughs> and happy, though, using the word happy, look at Rocker's finishing. Look at Rocker's finishing. Unbelievable. Yassine Benzir has got to get more games under his belt because his statistics are amazing. Do I need to say anything about Filippo? His statistics are just out of this world. Completely and utterly immense. He really, really is immense. Obviously, look at some of our younger players. And they're starting to grow, and they're growing really, really well. You know, they are getting limited football, cup games... Or the odd substitute appearance, you know, they are getting very limited games, but they're growing up, or, or they are growing up very quickly, and they're they're growing very quickly. I mean, look at Xavi, seventeen years old, he's gone up plus five. He's only played a handful of games, probably not even a handful of games, and he's got that sort of growth on him. He really it does strike me as he could be a flipping amazing CDM. He's so powerful. You know, he's a good strong player. Look at Bizet. His, his, his mental attributes are just fantastic. I just, it just amazes me. Absolutely amazes me. We still don't know if Jess Rodriguez is going to stay or go. We will hopefully find out in the transfer window. And uh, obviously you guys will have your input. Does he stay or does he go? Do we uh, strike first and uh, move him out for a different player? Or what do we do? Obviously, Callis is slightly unhappy because I don't think he's adjusted to having a rotational squad. Obviously, he's come from a team where he's like um, the, the, the best player in the... In the big balls in a in a small team sort of scenario but when you come to West Ham you know you have to abide by squad rotation because we need to rotate our players to make sure they all stay fresh and give us a good fighting chance in you know in in very tough games because if we haven't got a fully fit fully, fully fit squad it's very very difficult they need to be all bang on absolutely all bang on as you can see we are playing a slightly different side but i've got every faith in the players you know we haven't got bad players you know fabio playing center back i've got no worries with that the same with robin i have no worries about it i know he has really bad sprint and acceleration but as a defender with high defensive work rate and low attacking work rate he is majestic he is absolutely spot on and he's the sort of player that we actually need within this team because we have too, we've had too many center backs who have medium attacking which means they get pulled forward. He doesn't. He doesn't go anywhere. He just stays as centre-back. As you can see, that top left of the screen then, he's staying as a centre-back. He's just holding. He needs to give himself a good 20 yards on players because he ain't got no pace. I mean, Adrian fires off a shot there. And, you know, we're looking okay. We're playing some good football. 
but what we are subject to is counter-attack. And that was a nice ball through. Obviously, Stefan doesn't have the pace to get close to Dorian Jean. To be honest with you, not many people do have the, the pace to get close to Dorian Jean because he was a whippet when he was with us, and he's just as quick at Swansea. And it is frustrating to see him score against his old club and celebrate, which is even more frustrating, but that is the modern era. That is the modern age of football. Let's go with a nice shot there, but that wasn't the actual highlight I put in. I actually wanted to put in the uh, the booking of Danny Graham. I know, I'm desperate for highlights. It's really, really awful. But look at Robin. Nice, nice bringing the ball forward. And he just faints to go right and goes left. And uh, Danny Graham bought, bought it and uh, hooked line the sinker and got a yellow card for it. So winning at halftime, losing 1-0. And that is, again, as I say, it's frustrating. What I will say is, ironically, before we sold Dorian Jean to Swansea, they'd never played a 4-3-3. We, we've sold Dorian Jean to Swansea and they've changed their entire formation to play 4-3-3 just to suit him. And to be honest, they were the better team on the day. They played a lot better football. Their passing is like it is in the real world. <laughs> Magnificent. They really did knock the ball around. Fantastically, we just struggled yet again to really create anything worthwhile. It was... It was an absolute annoyance, an absolute annoyance. But what can you do? I, I, as I say, I honestly don't know what to do. I'm looking forward to reading your comments on this video. Hopefully, they'll be more positive and negative. You know, I understand if you uh, if you don't like this episode because it's a methodical episode and it's not the greatest gameplay in the background, which you know, um, hand on heart, I am truly gutted about. I am really, really frustrated because I enjoy this career mode so much, and I want you guys to enjoy it as much as I do. And over five seasons, I think you know. If we looked at all the episodes, I think everyone has really, really enjoyed it. And I don't want to get to a stage where people get really pissed off with it because A, the, the highlights aren't good. And B, if I put it on too much of an easy set and the highlights are, you know, boring at the end of the day. So hopefully um, we can discuss it in the comments. I look forward to replying to your comments. I look forward to reading your comments. And look at this, Jack Butlin. He wants a pay rise. He wants a pay rise. Well, the transfer window best uh, get here pretty damn quick because I want to tie that boy down for another three or four seasons because he is just simply epic.